Yeah, yeah, peace, peace, family. Black Jesus checking in, the ambassador to the streets. Back to drop more jewels about the music business. RBI, real business information. Music biz one-on-one. -on -one. This particular video right here, we're going to talk about how to distribute your music. Let's tap into this thing, man. So, you know, a lot of y'all be working. You know, you're doing your thing and you tap into the professionals with, you know, your SoundCloud links and, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. And, you know, it's really not cutting the mustard. So, you're going to have to definitely get you some distribution. SoundCloud is cool, but that's only one spot. You want to be everywhere that is to... Uh, shop for music you want to be at that spot so definitely what you want to do is do your due diligence and google how to distribute your music there's a lot of places out there like distro kid like um tune core um and definitely a couple of other spots but you know because we talk ownership in these videos it don't really matter uh but you got some people out there that got the major distribution but lightweight distribution is good as well you just want to be seen anywhere with somebody ready to tap in especially major sites like spotify Apple, iTunes, uh, Tidal, spots like that, you want to be there. So definitely, um, you know, we, we, we talk about having that good product. So you want to make sure that everything is mixed right. Everything is mastered right. You want to make sure that the cover is A1 and done because we talk about adding value to different platforms. So when you get ready to get this record distributed, through, through whichever um, platform that you choose to, you want to make sure that when everybody click on it, because you got to think, man, it's a lot of people that's doing the same thing. So the question is, what separates you from everybody else? So make sure that uh, you have that, that, that work, that quality work looking professional. I definitely can't stress that enough. But what you want to do is you just want to um, figure out, do you do diligence on which platform that you want to do your distribution through? And um, and go forward. Some of them have uh, fees. Some of them are free. You know what I'm saying? But you definitely want to be everywhere. So uh, take this time out, man, to figure out, you know, who you are as an artist, um, which song that you want to um, promote. You need to make sure that you take um, test that song and make sure it's the one. Definitely do not over flood the market with too much music when you when you distributing your, your music you want to make sure that you slow walk your, your your fans so they can keep up with you with no problem they know exactly what you're doing too much music is confusing to everybody so instead of keep dropping albums keep putting out songs i suggest that you pick that one song and you put it into some major distribution or some distribution period and then you promote it and you watch it grow there's a lot of people that's out there doing their thing with the distribution so you just have to tap into it and uh get get you on um, product to the right places to these stores so you can start building your brand man so i had to put this video out man dropping more jewels how to distribute your music man music distribution is the best way ain't nothing like having that thing with the right places so if a fan wanted to get with you he can like i said man your spotify links is just not good when you start when you're trying to um Send in your songs to uh, have them listen or you want people to tap into wherever you are so they can partake into their music and put you in their playlist and add you into a rotation. Because let me tell you one thing about the distribution is once you got your ducks in a row and everything is figured out with the um, your split sheet, you got your, um, your song is uh, put into your pro, it's registered, and uh, you have a... Um, a um, the um, ISRC code, so I stumbled on that because I had to think about that myself, but the ISRC code, the International State Recording Code, you need the ISRC code, you need to go to your uh, pro, and you need to make sure that this song is registered, so you can get that proper number, um, so everything can be synced up, so when it's time for that song, or that piece of work to start gaining um, traction and money that you can get yours on the back end. So like I said, man, just make sure that you pick that right song. Make sure it's proper. Make sure it's the one. Make sure the content is good. Make sure the cover is A1. Then you want to put that thing get some real distribution and do the paperwork on that song. Tap into ISRC codes. Tap into a uh, publishing company and you need to register that song through your pro, through your performance rights organization. So we're talking about distribution right here on this particular video. Back to drop more jewels, man. Until the next video, y'all keep grinding right. Peace, family.